It was different. Um, the way I got here was really, it was kind of interesting. I, I went into my high school coach, Bob Pipe's office, and he kind of, he was like, oh, hey, uh, you're all right. She came up unofficially to play with the team, took a train by herself from Boston, came uh, here to play with the players. Um, I kind of just took a train up one weekend. It was literally Friday to Saturday. I was here on Saturday. We played with the girls. I loved the team. Um, I really, that's kind of a, what made my decision, I think, the team more than anything else. We couldn't pick her up at the train station. It was an unofficial visit. We walked from the train station here just to play with the players, and that in itself tells you what her commitment is, you know, how excited she was about Rhode Island and being part of our team. I love the school. I've been at a private school. It was really, really little, so coming here was really big, so I was kind of I was kind of psyched to, to know that there were going to be a lot of people. I'd meet new people. Getting a college athletic scholarship meant a lot to Tyra and her family. Because I am the first one who's graduating, first of all, high school, and who's actually gone to college. My older brother, he's kind of like living off of me, sort of, so he loves coming to the games, and he's always supportive, and I, and I love it. Um, my little brother is all into basketball. He's into any kind of sports at this point. So I think me being able to show him that I, you can do it, that you can go to public school and you can still end up going to a really good school and, and get an education and, and being able to play the sport that you love, I think he kind of loves that and, and so do I. So I think when I see him here and I see him, he's cheering and I try to get him in the gym every time I can. And her brother has a front row seat to watch his older sister compete. You know, first and foremost, she's a special person. She's a uh, super competitor, uh, great attitude, and a, and a super teammate. What do you think your biggest achievement has been this season? Um, I want to say whew, uh, my block shots. In our league, she's one of the leaders in shot, um, in shot blocks. And she's got a long wingspan. Have her put on her arms for you. Huh. You'll see that she's got a long wingspan. She's athletic. She could jump. So those are things that she's bringing to both, not only on the offensive side of it, but also the defensive side. Scoring is something that I, everyone's keep telling me that I, I can continue to do and that's fine. I think I didn't realize how, how much how many block shots I've had in a season and I think I'm within like seven now probably like five to being top five in, in the school was kind of cool and it was like I got I, I took pride in that. And she also takes pride in being a key part of turning the UI women's basketball team into a successful program. Knowing that uh, I was the beginning or my class was the beginning of something great and, and a turning point I think. I think that's what brought her here is the fact that we're a building program we want to create tradition you have to bring in players that realize you have to go through the trenches you have to overcome a lot of obstacles to get here and to see the final goal. I think she's one of those people, super leader. And I think that's something for her that, that's a key thing. She wants to not just be a player, but she wants to lead others through example, through her work ethic.